Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang. The production value of games has really increased over the last several years. Partly it's because the video game market is now so big. It's now $100 billion large. And the game developers, competing for your benefit, competing for your business, continues to make games better and better all the time. The production value of games has gone up. But recently, in the last several years, a second factor has really turbocharged it. And that second factor is the fact that all of the game platforms in the world, game consoles and PCs, are now based on one unified architecture, one basic architecture. It is all exactly the same architecture as a PC today. Instead of fragmented architectures, where it's impossible for game developers to overinvest in any single platform, and they have to dedicate a lot of their engineering to porting games over and over again, now they have one single platform they can focus on, one single architecture, essentially, to focus on. As a result, the production value of games has gone up dramatically, and you can really see the difference. The games that we're seeing now, the technology is really quite spectacular. They're just so beautiful. Physically based materials, photogrammetry. Using photogrammetry technology, they're able to essentially take photographs of the world, reconstruct it into 3D, and turn it into a video game. Atmospheric lighting, particle effects, incredibly large worlds, really, really rich geometry, ray trace shadows, soft shadows, high dynamic range lighting. The games are just so beautiful today. Let's take a look at some. So this is the first one. This is Tom Clancy's division from Ubisoft. I mean, I, you would think that you're walking downtown New York. OK, maybe 10 years ago. It's cleaner now. The snow looks like snow. The snow falls like the snow would. The materials are physically based, and that's why they look so realistic. The animation is fantastic. The amount of geometry is just enormous. High dynamic range. You would think you're looking at a photograph. And so imagine, imagine doing Project Ansel, NVIDIA Ansel, on this, and you can capture all kinds of beautiful moments. OK, let's take a look at another game. This is uh, Lara Croft. Lara to all of us. We know her by her first, first name. This is Tomb Raider. Physically based modeling of materials. The geometry is so rich, based on photogrammetry. High dynamic range lighting. Volumetric lighting. You can see the, the, the light pierce through the atmosphere. It's just really, really beautiful. Just the am amazing amounts of detail that we see in games today. Let's take a look at another one. This is Electronic Arts, Mirror's Edge. Look at, look at the way the reflection is working off of the floor. You can really sense, sense the roughness on that floor and the polish, the, I guess the ripples and the polishness of that floor. They're everywhere these days. The lighting is just beautiful. The indirect lighting is amazing. Now you're outdoors, you got high dynamic range. The reflections in this game is particularly amazing. Real-time environmental reflection off of the water. And this is how they do it. Okay? That's terrific. Thank you. So This, ge this just gives you a small taste of the amazing quality production value of games today. Everything you were looking at just now, video game, all of those games were fully maxed out in quality. Every single quality knob was maxed out. And every single game was running over 60 hertz all the time. And that's why it looks so beautiful. That's why it's so silky smooth. That's why it brings so much joy to all of us. <laughs> Just makes you smile. All of those games were running on 
the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. No sweat, nice and easy, everything silky smooth, all so buttery smooth, so beautiful, just makes you happy. It's hard not to be happy. It's hard not to smile when you look at that. Just brings me enormous amount of pride and joy. Look what my kid can do. <laughs> so effortlessly, just like that. Yeah. <laughs>well let me tell you about this chip this chip is based on a new architecture we've been working on for several years several thousand people have been working on this project now for more than two years this is the largest gpu endeavor the largest chip project endeavor the largest processor endeavor in the history of humanity the r d budget was several billion dollars Several billion dollars. I am pretty sure you can go to Mars. I'm pretty sure you can go to Mars. Pascal packs just so much punch for several reasons. The engineers have just done an amazing job. First of all, the architecture is the most efficient architecture we've ever created. It's the most advanced architecture we've ever created. And I'm going to show you some amazing new technology that you've never seen before. It's the world's first 16 nanometer FinFET GPU in production. World's first. It is also the world's first to use Micron's new G5X memory. This memory is so fast. It is so fast. Well, what you're looking at, that smear in the middle, that smear in the middle, basically are the bits flowing in and out of our chip and to the G5X memory. Each one of those signals, each one of those signals are only 100 picoseconds wide, 100 picoseconds. That's 100 picoseconds is how long it takes light to travel one inch. How long it takes light to travel one inch. In that little bit of time, our engineers have to make sure that data is transferred. Pretty much, when you look at this thing on, a, on an oscilloscope, it's pretty much just noise. The fact that you could actually extract information out of this is just unbelievable. G5X, the fastest GDDR memory in the world, the first built by Micron. The fourth part is craftsmanship. Thousands of engineers, thousands of engineers have come up with thousands of ideas over the last several years. And each one of them optimizes on what we already built in the past some of them working on groundbreaking new technologies. Maxwell, as you know, was already the most energy-efficient GPU that's ever been made. And energy efficiency in modern computing is exactly the same as performance. If you're energy efficient, you are also high performance. So energy efficiency is of enormous importance. And so we dedicate ourselves to thousands of small ideas, thousands of small ideas. And the reason for that is because, as you know, Moore's Law is running out of steam. So you can't just take a design and go to the next node, and all of a sudden, you have more performance. We have to do this now through enormous amount of dedication, enormous amount of craftsmanship, thousands and thousands of small ideas, and hundreds of big ones, and a few groundbreaking ones. Well, the craftsmanship of this project of Pascal has been like never before. And then lastly, I want to talk to you about brand new technology. But let me show you a few things first. Craftsmanship. I can't show you the thousands of ideas that we worked on, but I selected a couple. And this is how we designed the system around the Pascal GPU. This is the system around the Pascal GPU. Don't forget, when you pull energy out of your wall, it's 120 volts, it's 1,000 watts maximum. However, we take that AC power, we reduce it down to DC, and it's now one volt and nearly 300 amps. And that one volt and 300 amps is being delivered at multi-gigahertz. 
And so the switching power supply design is incredibly hard to do. This is probably one of the most complicated, most artful, most advanced switching power, switching power supply that humanity does today. Well, your goal is this. With the billions of transistors that are switching at a few nanoseconds apiece, our goal is to de deliver essentially a DC power. That DC power can never change. Depend independent of whether it's Tomb Raider running, or Excel running, or division running, a big explosion, minesweeper. minesweeper. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're running, it has to deliver that clean power. And whenever we, do, we don't deliver clean power, you lose performance, you lose energy efficiency, you lose everything you fought so hard to do. So the delivery of clean power is incredibly important. The white line is the last best in the world. The white line. And basically, that envelope was Maxwell. GTX 980, the world's best GPU. The world's best GPU is the best GPU we've ever built. And that variance is what we were able to achieve with GTX 980. Notice GTX 1080, the variance has reduced dramatically. It's almost essentially a solid line. Out of one, out of one volt, which is all we have to work with, 100 millivolt ripple is all we see. The second, we want to deliver that efficiency, that level of power, that level of current, across the entire operating range of our GPU. Don't forget, these things are running incredibly fast. And it's asked to burst into a level of performance almost instantaneously, because as soon as you turn around, maybe, maybe you were looking at a nice, quiet, gentle brook, and you turn around, and there are 10 monsters coming your way, and you got to fire back immediately. Well, the amount of graphics processing that changed all of a sudden is instantaneous and enormous. Well, we have to deliver clean power and efficiently as long as we can. All, all throughout that entire, entire experience. And so notice, in the case of GTX 980, our efficiency it was excellent. However, the 1080 took it just another level. Well, what do you get from all of that? Amazing new architecture, 16 nanometer, the world's first 16 nanometer FinFET GPU, the world's first G5X, incredible engineering worksmanship. Well, what you get from that is this. The 1080 is faster than a 980. SLI. <laughs> 1080 is faster than 980 SLI. But a 1080 is way faster than the fastest in the world today. The 1080 is even faster than a Titan X. And you've got to ask yourself, right? How much faster? How much faster? Unbelievable amounts. It is utterly insane. It is insane. The 1080 is insane. It's insane. It's almost irresponsible amounts of performance. When all of it came together, when all of it came together, let's face it, we designed it to do that. We wanted it to do that. We invested billions of dollars so that it could do that. I'm just so happy. Look at that. GTX 1080. It's faster than a Titan X. Not by a little bit, but a whole lot. And with so much less power. Well, basically what this says, not only is 1080 the new king, the Pascal family is going to be pretty amazing. Ten eighty, Pascal, the amazing craftsmanship, and simultaneous multi projection. GTX ten eighty is twice the perf and three times the energy efficiency Damn. versus a Titan X. Damn. Twice the performance of a Titan X three times the energy efficiency, and crazy amounts of overclockability.
just crazy. That is the GTX 1080. We're so proud of it. I'm so proud of all the engineers that have made it possible. We made a small video for you. Let's run it. Ladies and gentlemen, the new king, GTX 1080. Unbelievable. Twice the performance of Titan X, three times the energy efficiency. Unbelievable. Twice the performance of a Titan X, our $1,000 flagship product today. 1080 is twice the performance and three times the energy efficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, the GTX 1080. Nine teraflops, eight gigabytes of G5X, the world's first G5X memory from Micron, $599 MSRP. The NVIDIA designed Founders Edition, $699, gives you crazy overclockability, amazingly beautiful design, I hope you love it. Twice the performance of Titan X and three times the energy efficiency. General availability around the world, May 27th. Yeah. But I have more. Yes. What? Yes. What? 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 GTX 1070. 6.5 teraflops, 8 gigabytes of G5 memory, faster than a Titan X, faster than a Titan X, $379 MSRP. And for the NVIDIA designed Founders Edition, $449, available all over the world, June 10th. The best, best GPU architecture we have ever created the best GPUs we have ever designed. This is really, really a special moment. So that's it. We talked about four things today. Our mission, our mission is to build computing technologies for the most demanding users in the world. For gamers, for designers, for artists, for scientists, for dream hackers. Today, we're so happy to take it to the next level. This is the work of several thousand engineers almost three years, billions of dollars of R&D, and we announced four things. The world's first in-game camera system. Do you guys love it? Yeah. NVIDIA Ansel. Yeah. A major upgrade to VR works. Major upgrade to VR works, including physics, including physics-based haptics, and very importantly, the world's first real-time, physically modeled, acoustic simulation engine, VRWorks Audio. The second announcement, VRWorks major update. And so that we can all celebrate and enjoy it, we've created a VR experience. It's going to be available on Steam. And we're going to, as soon as we release it, we're also going to open source it 
so that we can all make it amazing. Third, a brand new generation of GPUs. A new generation of architecture, Pascal, the best that we have ever made, the best GPUs we've ever designed. Today we're announcing the 1080 and the GTX 1070. And lastly, a brand new revolutionary graphics technology called simultaneous multi-projection. Allows us to take graphics into all kinds of cool new display technologies so that we can enjoy it, whether it's in surround with the correct perspective projection or with incredible performance in VR. And there are so many more new projector technologies and display technologies coming. Pascal is going to be ready for all of that. So that's it, everybody. Have a nice night. Welcome to DreamHack. <laughs>